Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we'll see plane scale sum. Now in this we need to construct a plane scale long enough to measure up to the length 4.3 meter and given RF is 1 upon 50. Then we, have to, we need to mark 2.6 meter on it. So first we will write given data. The representative fraction is given that is 1 is to 50. Then we will see maximum length. So what is maximum length? 4.3 meter. So we will round off to 5 meter. Then length of scale is equal to RF into ML. So RF is 1 upon 50 into maximum length 5 meter into 100 which will give me 10 centimeter. So I will draw 10 centimeter long line. Now remember in plane scale we take height 5 millimeter, in diagonal scale we take height 50 millimeter. And remember it is not fixed, you can take whatever you are comfortable with. So I'll take height 5 millimeter. So we are done with this skin. Now in how many parts I should divide this? 5 because maximum length is 5 meter. So we are, done, we are done with 5 parts. So we will divide the first block into 10 parts. Because we need to mark 2.6 meter. So here on right hand side we can write meter and on left hand side we can write decimeter. And here we'll write RF which is 1 upon 50. And we need to show 2.6 meter on it. So we'll take 2 from here and 6 from here. So this will be 2.6 meter. Now there is one additional question in the board paper that we need to draw 2.6 meter pentagon and we need to convert into a square of equal area so there is a pentagon of side 2.6 meter we need to convert into a square of equal area of the pentagon so what we will do first we will draw pentagon you can choose any method i'm using three circle method to draw pentagon what I'm doing, I'm taking 2.6 meter in my compass and I'm going to cut it like this. So this is the side of the pentagon. Then I'm drawing pentagon by two circle method. I hope everyone knows how to draw this pentagon. You can choose any method. There is no specific thing.
join this to this so we'll get a pentagon this is ab ab is 2.6 meter you can show like this now we need to convert pentagon into square so first we'll convert pentagon into triangle so i'll join this point to this point and i'll draw a parallel line so those who know area conversion and they will understand what i'm doing if you don't know area conversion then please revise area conversion so i'm drawing a parallel line so instead of triangle sorry instead of pentagon a b c d e i'm getting a triangle p q r see this p q r instead of pentagon a b c d e now i'll divide this vertical line into two part now what i'm doing i'm converting a triangle into a rectangle So I'm, what I'm doing, I'm taking height into two parts and I'm taking half the height. So when you do that, you'll get this rectangle PQST instead of triangle PQR. Now what we need to do, we need to convert this rectangle into square. So I'll just shift my page. Now we have rectangle PQST. We need to convert this into a square. So I'll extend this base. I'll take Q to S and rotate. So I'll get point U. This is PU will bisect PU into two parts. You can cut up as well as down. I won't be doing it because there is no space. So you bisect PU. Draw a vertical line. So you'll get center point. That is O. Now take O to P, which is equal to O to U, and draw circle, semicircle. Now we draw a vertical line from here. You extend QS. Wherever it will cut, that will be V. So QV is the side of the square, what we require. Now we need to draw a square. Keeping in mind the length QV. So I will draw a horizontal line from here. Then I will take Q to V. take you to V cut on this side then you draw a vertical line this is 
point W this is X so you got square Q W X V so we have converted pentagon A B C D E into a square of side Q W X V so when I'm writing it so when you write you write area of square Q W X V is equal to area of pentagon A B C D E so I hope you people have understood this sum thank you this is very useful from ICSE technical drawing point of view as well as anyone who is doing plane scale sum. Thank you.